In this chapter, I will show you some volume tricks. You can create from VDB files many interesting looking objects or even complex scene. Download smoke VDB files with C4D scene and HDR map. HDR map you will use for dome light. Don't forget on volume contribution. 512 samples should be enough for those scenes. Load downloaded VDB files into the Redshift volume. Workflow is the same as I showed you already in Volume Explosion chapter. For scatter we are using density channel. And here are colors what I'm using in ramp. Dark blue color, yellow color and red color. In this example I'm not using any other channel for now. So until now all matching scene what I'm sharing with you. And you are ready to render this simulation. But let's try a few changes now. Volume always looking more interesting with little bit of emission. But this time we have not any channel which can work similar like it was in explosion example. So how to create it from current channels? We will use for emission temperature channel. On beginning of this process it looks weird, but it's part of the workflow. Actually it's showing us what everything is covering by temperature channel. Under advanced section we can remap emission range. If I will lower new max range, as you can see I am cutting off unwanted parts. And here is sweet point where I am getting something what I am looking for. But white color is not exactly what matching rest of the volume colors, so let's change color as well. Saturated red color should work for this example and color brightness affecting result as well. Now I have control of emission color and emission intensity. As next step is time to play with density colors. Check project files links. There is link for color theory which will help you to choose correct colors. But don't be scared to play with colors and search for color combination what you like. It will help you better understand how colors works. Here is one of my example and you can download C4D scenes with those examples as well. Now I will show you another trick. Under advanced section you can control also density and this gives you many options how to create softer looking volume or with much more details. Just be careful about volume resolution, because if you will change range of volumes with low resolution to strong, artifacts and blocky voxels will appear. Shadow density scale helping with volume contrast as well. You can easily create darker looking volume or brighter looking volume. In this example, I will show you step by step how to create volume elements for your scenes. We will use the same smoke VDB files. Let's do check channels. For scatter usually I am using density channel, but sometimes different channels produce different look and it can be very useful for elements. So let's have a look on temperature channel. It looks much smoother, so if I would like create softer looking element, I will use temperature channel. But first I would like to create elements with more details, so I will switch back to density channel. For emission I will use the same density channel as well. And I will remap range as I showed you before. As next step I will change color. I will use saturated color because now I can see exactly how works emission range. I would like change range for density and get more details as well. As next step I'm tweaking absorption. Depends I would like to have more transparent or more opaque volume element. This time I would like to have more opaque volume element. Important is also check light intensity because light intensity affecting look of volume. Basics for first element are ready. As next step I will use cloner. Drag and drop your volume element under cloner hierarchy. 
And as you can see, something is wrong and scale of my volume not working anymore. I have to use null to fix it. Volumes needs to be under null hierarchy if you would like to use them with cloner. And that's it. All works correctly now. As next step, I will use variability of cloner. With cloner, you have almost endless options have used elements. So if you have ready good elements, you can create pretty cool stuff. For this example, I will use radial mode. Camera angle will be very important for final composition. I would like to see more colors and different shapes, so I will copy volume with null and I will move it under cloner hierarchy. You can't see any differences yet because both volumes and their materials using the same parameters. Let's first correctly name my materials. A second step, I will change emission color. And now it's time to restart my render view. As you can see in render view, cloner randomly using red and blue volume element. And if you need, you can create even more elements with different colors and shapes. But I want to keep this example simple as possible, so two different elements should be enough. Now is it all just about creativity? You can create elements with different color variations, shape variations, different density and emission range, or different absorption as well. Also, number of instances or radius values helping achieve complex looking object or scenes. As next step, I will use the random effector. Random parameters helping with more realistic results. I can randomize position, scale, and rotation, or if I need, I can use fields as well. As next step, I will have look which camera position working for those elements. And after that, starting playing with elements, shapes, colors, cloner, and random parameters. If you are intermediate level user, so we already understand how those tools working, you will have a lot of fun and in few hours you can create interesting looking scenes. Here is few of my examples. I will share with you all my scenes what you can see in this chapter so you can download them. Here is how first scene looks like. Here is the second scene. Here is the third scene. And here is the fourth scene. As next step, I will show you a few techniques what I am using for creating volume elements. Every element can use entire simulation, part of simulation, or just single frame. Usually on the beginning of simulation, your volume has different shape than on the end of the simulation. So if you will use for every volume different frame or different simulation range, you will get different looking elements. Also, lighting or HDR maps affecting look of your volumes. Here is few examples. Another cool trick is single point light inside the volume. As you can see, position of this light creating interesting looking atmosphere for your scene. Now I will activate also dome light and you can see how it works together. For comparison, I will show you how looks volume without point light. With point light looks more interesting, but I have to do a few more steps to make it work. As next step, I will change color of point light. This will help to replace this hot white spot. And also, I will lower the strong intensity of point light to get more realistic result. Now I need to find different position because current position is not working very well. And here is the place where I like how it works and we have nice connection between point light and volume. So now I can increase intensity if I would like to see it more obvious. And last step is amount of volume absorption. Absorption coefficient strongly affects how light and volume interact. I will turn off dome light to see it even better. Now you can see that absorption is important for lighting tricks and helping with cool looking results. And always if I am lowering absorption coefficient, 
I'm lowering light intensity as well. So now you get an idea of what everything is possible create from volumes. In this chapter we will have a look on volume scene. Download volume scene C4 D files. I'm using the same VDB smoke files and HDR map as in previous chapter. Under cloner you can find two volume elements, both using the same full range of smoke VDB files. Radial mode of cloner has 24 instances with radius 344 cm. Random effector helping spread elements and produce interesting looking volume shapes. Differences are in volume material. First material using only density channel. Second material using density channel and for emission temperature channel. I'm using one one volume element to cover artifacts or weird looking parts. For comparison, I will turn off extra element to show you how it works without and with extra element. I can create even more elements which will patch more places. This workflow will help with more interesting design. Next is locator. Locator I am using to define camera focus. Next object is plane. Plane helping create fake atmosphere around volumes. Important is plane material which using opacity of material controlled by gradient mask. In render view you can see comparison how look seen with transparent plane and with how plane atmo contribution. In 3D viewport you can see that plane is in the middle of the volume towards to camera. Material is standard RS material. In overall section I am using opacity and emission input. Emission weight is very low. Here is how looks direct output from RAM node which controls opacity. Second node controls gradient intensity. And now you can see how looks direct output from noise which controls emission color. If you need more life, you can animate noise, switch source to user and animate user time parameter. Opacity controls transparency of this object and in the scene it works as atmosphere around volume. Here is render comparison how it looks with how plane and now you can see how it looks with plane. It's helping create fake atmo around volume. If you don't want to see any shadows on your plane, use redshift object tag Enable Override Invisibility section and turn off Receive Shadows option. Atmosphere on the plane using UV map of RAM node to create gradient for fade of effect of opacity. If you would like to use different type of gradient, you can change mapping exactly as I explained already in RAM chapter. If you need stronger intensity of Atmo, change gradient values. You can also control emission RAM for different color variations. I created also small particles around volume if you need more depth of the scene. You can replace sphere for different objects, all depends on your creativity. I'm using also random effector which helping with the random size and position of those particles. Next is render camera. I'm using locator null as focus object. Under camera tag you can see that I'm using bokeh. Bokeh is helping with scale of the scene and separating background as well. Here is comparison how scene looks with how bokeh and now with bokeh effect. As I mentioned already in chapter before, additional lights help control parts of volume where we need more light. Here is comparison how looks part what I am showing in render view with how point light and now with point light contribution. For this scene I am using also redshift post effects, flare effect with low threshold. In render view you can see how flare intensity helping with atmosphere. 
Second post effect is Bloom. Bloom helping with better emission integration. Just be careful about threshold values. Too much of Bloom effect doesn't look very realistic. It's more like kind of dream effect. Use rather higher threshold and little bit more intensity. Here is comparison how looks seen with how Bloom effect and now with Bloom effect. As next step, you can also use background for your scene. Enable dome light background and choose background for your scene. You can use some sunset photos from our collection as I am using for this scene as well. Or any texture, gradient, anything what works for you. If you don't want to use background, you can use Redshift environment. Redshift environment is very sensitive if you are using HDR map for volume contribution, so be careful about intensity of tint color. In this case, you should use dark tint color. And you can change phase values. Negative phase values will change scattering balance, so atmosphere is scattered away from camera, and that's exactly what we need. Little bit darker color now, or less scattering, or more attenuation, all those parameters will help you create interesting looking atmosphere. And as next step you can use noise volume. How to control noise parameters I explained already in noise chapter. Use instead white color dark blue color. Apply noise volume on environment. And you will have nice breakup in your atmosphere. It's always looking more interesting than just solid color. If you are using noise volume material, you cannot control tint color anymore and you have to control environment color inside noise material instead. But still you can control other parameters such as scattering, just be careful about scatter intensity and use very low values. Noise material will control atmosphere color and look of noise pattern. If you are working with volumes, RAM remapping can sometimes produce weird looking result. Important is to remember that if you are remapping VDB channels, first knot from left side of RAM has to be always black, because as you can see on examples, different intensity than zero or black produce weird result. And last trick what I would like to show you is about absorption remap ramp. You can use different absorption values for different parts of volume, so you can easily get interesting looking results. Some parts of volume will look more opaque and some parts more transparent. So now you get an idea of what everything is possible when you will play with this volume scene.